Hello and happy Monday, first day of our Shakeology Challenge. For the next 21 days, guys, we're going to be together, and I hope that you guys will um, do a lot of talking. Let's chat it up, let's support each other. So I am making dinner right now, just got home from swim team, and I am cutting up Brussels sprouts. So I just wanted to show you guys real quickly how I do that. So I'm going to set the camera down, and for those of you that have maybe a hard time getting your vegetables in, I'm going to show you how I cut them up. So here it is. I cut off the stem, the icky stem part. So here's your whole Brussels sprout, right? So cut off the icky stem. I just plop it over the side. And these are, are pretty big. Um, let me see if I can find a small one. I just got these actually at Winco. I usually get them at Trader Joe's. So here's a smaller one. I don't know if you can see. Maybe well, it's really hard to see. Anyway, so I'm cutting mine in half. I like them smaller anyway. They get a little bit more caramelized. And you take off the outer leaf. So I'm going to do that again real quick. So I'm going to cut off my woodsy end. And then the bottom outside leaf should just... Oops, sorry. The outside... I Was it this frame? I'm sorry. The outside leaf should just fall off. Um, see how they just kind of fall off there? And those are the dirty leaves that you don't want to do. And then I just place them. I've got a stone, or I usually use a demarl um, pan that I really like. Um, again, here's my leaves just falling off. And I just spray them with um, coconut, organic coconut oil um, that I also get at Trader Joe's. So I'm going to take all these leaves and just throw them out. Or in the past, if I don't have that, I just drizzle some olive oil all over them. Or I have taken... Um, uh, coconut oil and just got it warmed up in my hands or heated it and just drizzled it all over them and then just put some sea salt on them. I either use this one right here or I'm kind of addicted to this one right here, um, the Flavor God, which is one of my favorite things. This is a Trader Joe's, just a pink Himalayan salt, and this is Flavor God. You can get that at flavorgod.com or even on Amazon. So um, I just sprinkle a little bit over this. You can do whatever you want on it. You can add spicy seasoning, you can add garlic salt, onion salt, whatever you want. So um, I am going to spray my coconut oil on my pan, maybe, if I can get it off. My kids use it, so it's kinda gooked up there. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm gonna scrape it off, put it right over. I'm going to take the camera here. Here we go. And you don't want to get too much because, again, this still is calories. Yeah, it's cooked up. Sorry about that. Gotta love kiddos who cook. And it's totally clogged. So, okay. Plan B would be to take my olive oil that's handy right here. Again, try not to do too much. Um... You just want enough to coat them. Sprinkle them around. Make sure they have enough room in between each other so they can cook. And I will sprinkle them with some salt and pop them in the oven. I'm actually gonna do some broccoli tonight too, baked broccoli. The kids love this stuff, they eat it like crazy. Um, so if you have in the past tried Brussels sprouts, sorry, my hands are icky now, and you didn't like it, try them roasted, you guys. They're amazing. They're so good. I'm addicted to them. So sometimes I'll even put um, uh, balsamic vinegar. I'll reduce that down and make it kind of like a reduction and pour that over the top. Sometimes I'll put cotilla cheese on it. Um, Matador. <laughs> My girlfriend and I always go to Matador and we always split. Sometimes we can eat the whole thing of just the appetizer of the roasted Brussels sprouts. They're amazing. They're not nearly as healthy, but they're really good. So anyway, hope that was a good tip for the day. Maybe you guys can try a new vegetable and squeeze a little bit more greens in your diet along with your Shakeology. I want to hear how you guys are doing. Talk to you soon.